That county mother is brutally raped and her child was in the room during the horrific attack. Police say two teenage boys committed the violent act and a third teen, a girl, is also charged in the case. Uh, Fox News' Deidre Dukes is live at the Gwinnett County Jail where those suspects are in custody. Deidre? Yeah, Russ, both the 17 and 19 year old suspects are in jail here uh, in Gwinnett County. Uh, we learned this afternoon that in addition to the rape charges, one of the two suspects is also being held on an ICE immigration hold. Gwinnett police say the vicious attack occurred at an apartment in Tucker in the area of Jimmy Carter Boulevard and South Norcross Tucker Road. Suspects Joshua Francisco Palencia, 17, and 19 year old Josu Aguilar Ramirez are behind bars at the Gwinnett County Jail, arrested along with an unidentified 15 year old girl in connection with the crime. According to investigators, Palencia and Ramirez, dressed in black and wearing ski masks, were waiting for the victim when she arrived home from work with her two children at around 3 a.m. The teens threw boiling water on her, shocked the woman with a stun gun, then forced her into her bedroom where they raped her. One of her children witnessed the crime. Police say the 15-year-old suspect was not in the apartment when the assault took place. It's believed she drove them to the apartment. Valencia was in court this morning. Ramirez's hearing, scheduled for Thursday afternoon, was postponed. The two men are being held without bond. All three suspects charged with home invasion, rape, aggravated sodomy, kidnapping, aggravated battery, and cruelty to children. In addition to the charges in the May incident, Fox 5 has learned Immigration Customs Enforcement has placed an ice hold on Ramirez at the jail meaning he would be held for the feds if he were to be granted bond by the state. I spoke with an ICE spokesman late this afternoon. He told me while it usually means that uh, someone is in the country illegally when they are placed on an ICE hold, that is not always the case. And he said there could be some other immigration issue. Uh, this individual, the suspect, is not in ICE custody. And because they're not in custody, we're told that ICE cannot tell us specifically why a hold has been placed on this individual, meaning that uh, if they were to get out of jail here, that they would immediately be taken into federal custody. I also spoke with the assistant DA who's handling this case, and he told me that uh, this is very much an active investigation, that police are still uh, interviewing witnesses, uh, gathering evidence as far as why this uh, woman was specifically targeted. They say they are working on a possible motive, but they're not prepared to release that at this time. Uh, that's the latest here in Gwinnett County. I'm Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. All right. Thank you, Deidre. Well, Gwinnett County Police looking for